this time it's my Epiphone <coughs> Les Paul. Not exactly sure um, a standard series. I would rate it closer towards a Les Paul classic. But the thing about this is that it's the um, J.J. French Twisted Sister model. And it's got the Twisted Sister headstock on the, the front. So it's actually the J.J. French Les Paul standard model. Um, it's a very cool guitar, much more lightweight. It's got actually, I don't know if you can see, it's got a belly contour in the back. And it's a little bit more lightweight. Um, it's more like a rose pink burst, which is very cool. What draw me, you know, drew me to it. Uh, black hardware. And I actually switched out the pickups. I'm not much of a humbucker person, but I actually switched the neck to an Alnico 2 Pro. And then the bridge is a Pearly Gates. And, um... Nothing too hard hitting, just one kind of like a, a classic kind of bluesier kind of Les Paul sound. The cool thing, and I didn't know this until my guitar tech showed me, is that this tone pot actually is a push pull pot. So the cool thing about that is I can split the the coils and the humbuckers and get a little bit different of a sound. So it's more versatile than any other Les Paul I've ever owned. Um, I'm gonna start off in the neck position. I'm going back through my. Uh, Viberlux reverb amp, and the only pedals I'll be using for this review is an MXR Classic Distortion, which handles the humbuckers a little bit better than my Barber Special Recipe, and um, I'll use a little bit of delay just for the hell of it, and that's an, an MXR Carbon Copy delay, um, just to give you a brief setting idea. I'm plugged into the bright channel number two on the Viberlux. I've got the volume very, very low. It's not even past one, hardly. Um, just because I am in the house and I don't want to blow out any windows. But this thing can get pretty loud. And the overdrive from the tubes, the natural overdrive is just mind-blowing. Um, the treble and the bass are set at about four and a half. And the reverb, I just like to get a little bit, is about at five. Um, again, this is the neck pickup, the Onico 2 Pro. Um, it's a very sweet, clean humbucker. sound nor telecast pickup sound. It's kind of its own breed, but it does have a nice clean sound. Although the split uh, sound does get a little bit weaker, which is expected, but it does have a nice sound split and full as well. Um, again, now I'm going to go in between the two, which is the Amica 2 Pro in the neck and the bridge, the pearly gates, and this is the sound in the middle. Very ringing sound off of that. Um, split, the cool thing about this is each volume knob um, can control the volume and the uh, intensity, or I guess presence, of each pickup. Uh, the volume is both on for everything, and the tone I've got it um, at 10. This is the coil split for both of them in the middle position. Very usable. Uh, the one thing I do like about this guitar is pretty much any position is very usable. I'm going to switch over to the bridge position, again the pearly gates, and this is what it sounds like clean, um, no coil splitting. <laughs> Definitely not anything too trebly, but it does have a bit of a bite. But the, the great thing about that pickup is it sounds terrific over driven. So whereas the Alnico 2 Pro um, is a little bit, I guess, an acquired taste over driven. So the coil split in the bridge position. <laughs> that 
probably getting a little bit more twangier towards the Telecaster sound. It does great. <laughs> to it and a little bit of a twang which is great so okay now I'm going to go into my MXR classic distortion this is the neck pickup no splitting uh, how it sounds uh, with a little bit of uh, distortion behind it <laughs> Driven, but I'm sure many people can use it. It does uh, ring a little bit. It does have a great sustain on it. Um, but I do use uh, the bridge mainly for anything overdriven, and the neck is more of my clean pickup. So this is how it sounds split, just for all purposes. prefer that split and overdriven more than the actual humbucker itself. <laughs> sounds very cool to split. So now I'm going to the middle position. This is how it sounds with the overdrive. purposes it just wouldn't sound right but I do think this would definitely open up with a bit more volume behind it okay this is the bridge position overdriven my favorite position to be any you know any sort of overdrive behind it sounds like. So I'm actually going to go back into clean and just give you an idea since I haven't demoed this yet. Um, add a little bit of delay. The neck pickup I think is the best for that. No splitting. So this is the neck pickup on a Go2 Pro with a little bit of delay behind it. Just the Elementary Pro is just great, great things, sweet and clean. 